The Washkos team in Andhra Pradesh plans to convince the government of India of the need to collect data on costs and service levels. Project coordinator Sneha Lada predicts that a practical demonstration of the life cycle costs approach in 10 to 15 villages can strengthen the government's national rural water supply guidelines. In India, we have done the data collection from 187 villages and we have analysed the data on the costs and as well as the service levels. And these preliminary findings were shared with the national and state level governments. And they are very interested in seeing how these life cycle cost approaches can be demonstrated at the field level in planning and budgeting. What we are planning to do now is to identify a cluster of villages, about 10 to 15 villages, and we would like to collect the data from there using these how to do the life cycle costing guidelines so that we can plan and implement them. So we would select these villages, collect the data, fine tune the guidelines and then see how these can be planned and implemented in these villages and then show it to the government that this is the way that we have to embed this life cycle costing approach. When we did the 107 villages, it was a huge methodology we were testing. Now we know after analysis what is required exactly for planning and implementing these life cycle costing approach. So in these 10 villages we are going to exactly uh, ask those questions which are required to, um, to get these, elicit this information on the life cycle cost and also to assess the service delivery. And we are going to incorporate this in a simplified way into the planning and implementation guidelines that are there that government of India is planning and implementing so that the synergy can happen and it's easy for implementation and uptake at the national and at the state government level. The government of India has uh, prepared the national rural water supply guidelines. The national government is responsible to uh, imp create the policy and the state governments are responsible to implement these guidelines on the field. So these guidelines are basically give you how much allocations can be made on different uh, aspects. Uh, uh, maybe it is operation maintenance or it could be for water security or it could be for community development and IEC activities. But in reality, what exactly is needed on the ground using the life cycle costing approach is something we would like to get integrated into these guidelines. Uh, this effort of embedding the pilots is putting the life cycle costing and service delivery approach into the into practice and also come out with how to do guidelines so that the stakeholders can easily uptake this methodology.